Okay, today's story is from the book of Isaiah in chapter 2. So the idea is in the book of Isaiah, they're talking about what the world would be like if everything was the way God wants it to be. Some future day, God's house will be on the tallest mountain of all. It's a big, tall mountain, biggest tall mountain in the world. And God's house or God's temple is up on the top here. <laughs> looks like something. Looks like a house, a temple. And all the people in all the nations are going to come running or walking up the mountain because they want uh, from people from all over the world are going to come from all over to hear how to live their lives better. Because they want to learn good lessons. And what people are doing a lot in lots of parts of the world is they're holding swords. Here's a person holding a sword. And here's another person from another part of the world holding a sword. We all have heard of what swords are. They're big tools that people use to hurt one another. And in Isaiah, it talks about people are going to learn from God how to be more peaceful. And so they'll take tools like swords and change them. If you take a sword, it's metal. It's very pokey and it's very hard. But if you put it in the fire, you can melt it into something else. Uh, when metal gets very hot, uh, people can twist it and turn it into something else. So Isaiah says people will learn from God and turn their weapons of war into other things. Uh, plows. You take a plow. Somebody can push a plow. La, la, la. Here's a farmer. Pushing a plowshare. You push the wooden part, and then there's this blade that goes in the dirt, and it digs up the dirt so you can plant fruit and trees and all kinds of things in the field. And that's a great thing. See how happy that person is? And then... Uh, over here, this sword, we're going to melt this down and make it into a pruning hook. And here's a person who has a pruning hook. And they're using their pruning hook to prune a fruit tree. She's pruning a fruit tree. There's her pruning hook. And it's pruning off the fruit that isn't good, so you can get better fruit. So, the scripture in Isaiah says, people will beat their swords, people will come to the mountain of God, and they'll learn the ways of peace, and they'll beat their swords into plowshares, and beat their spears, this person maybe has a spear, beat their spears into pruning hooks. Pruning hooks. In the last days, the mountain on which the Lord's temple stands will become the most important of all mountains. This is what the Bible says in Isaiah. The mountain on which the Lord's temple stands will become the most important of all mountains. It will be raised above the hills and people from all nations will come streaming to it. Many nations will come and say, come, let us go to the temple of the Lord. Go to the mountain of the Lord. Let us go to the temple of God, and God will teach us his ways, and will obey his teachings. The Lord's teachings will out from Jerusalem, and the Lord will settle arguments among many nations. Look at all these people arguing from all these nations. It says the Lord will settle the arguments. He will make decisions for strong nations that are far away, and the nations will make their swords into plows and plowshares, and they'll make their spears into hooks for trimming trees. Nations will no longer fight other nations. They will not even train for war anymore. Come, family of Jacob, we should follow the way of the Lord. That's the children's story.